Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Xbox One Windows 10 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Windows 10 computer using Bluetooth. So this will be a wireless connection. You won't have to worry about any cables coming from your computer to the controller. Now, there are a couple requirements of this. First, you have to have a newer Xbox controller that actually has Bluetooth. And one way to tell the difference and make sure that you have this controller is the Xbox One button must be on the same piece of plastic as all the buttons. So the older versions have a separate piece of plastic for the Xbox One button and the rest of the buttons. But as you can see on the screen, this is what the newer version will look like. Then you also have to have a Windows 10 computer that has Bluetooth, either built-in Bluetooth or through a dongle that you can order. And I will put a description to one of those in the description. They're plug and play, very easy to install. You just plug it into your computer and it'll work. All right, so once you have all the requirements, to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply open up the settings on our Windows 10 computer. And we do that by selecting the start button in the bottom left, and then going up to the gear right here and selecting settings. In the settings, because sometimes they change these menus, I just recommend searching Bluetooth, and then selecting Bluetooth and other device settings. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. So select on right there. All right, so now that we have Bluetooth turned on and we're in the Bluetooth settings, what we need to do now is put our Xbox One controller in pairing mode. To put your controller in pairing mode, simply turn on the controller by pressing the Xbox button in the center, and then hold down the sync button at the top until the light starts blinking rapidly. Now your controller is in pairing mode. Now that we have our Xbox One controller in pairing mode, go ahead and select add Bluetooth or other device, and then in the list select Bluetooth. It should search for a little bit, and eventually you should see Xbox wireless controller come up or some sort of other keyboard or controller, something like that. If you don't see anything come up in the list, make sure that your controller is still in Bluetooth mode because it will turn off just to save the battery after a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna select Xbox wireless controller. It'll go through and install drivers on your computer to ensure that your Xbox controller can work with your Windows 10 computer. And then once it says your device is ready to go, you can now use it. Now that we have our Xbox One controller connected through Bluetooth to our Windows 10 computer, it should be working fine. And when you have a game, you can assign the keys on your controller to the different movements in the game. It won't have the ability to control the mouse on your computer or anything like that. But if you want to test it out and ensure that it's working before you open a game or anything like that, follow the steps that I go through now because we'll open up the device settings for your controller and actually see it working. So what you want to do is go down to the start menu, select it, and then start searching control panel. When you see control panel, go ahead and select it and open it. In the control panel, you'll see devices and printers. Go ahead and select that. And then under devices, you should see Xbox wireless controller. Go ahead and right click that and then go to game controller settings. In the new window that opens up, select properties. And then right here, you should be able to see the inputs change as I move the controller or I press buttons on my controller. So now that you've seen that it's working, next time you open up a game, go into the settings for the controls of the game, and you should be able to assign the keys on your Xbox One controller. All right, so that's how you connect an Xbox One controller to your Windows 10 computer through Bluetooth. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 or Xbox One tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.